Hi, welcome to my Where the Red Room Grows to the Classic Continues movie review. So, um, the 1974 Where the Red Room Grows uh, movie had a sequel and um, the sequel they call Where the Red Room Grows to the classic continues and this is my this is my theory of faith Bay slash biblical movie movie review once a month and so last month I did Where the Red Room Grows nineteen seventy four movie review so this month I'm reviewing the sequel to the 1974 with the Reference Grows movie and the sequel is called with the Reference Grows 2 Cry to Continue and it came out in 1994 almost like 20, 20 years later because the first one came out in 1974 so it is like 20 years later but the first one in 1974, when the Red Room Grow, 1974, so 20 years later, 1990, 1994, 20 years later, 1994, 20 years later, and when the Red Room Grow 2, the classic continue. And it's not as good as the first one, but it's still a sad movie, because you know the first one was a really sad movie. And, um, it don't, it don't have the, the uh, the, the original character. And, um, it's about when they were growing up. The first one was about when he was like a teenager and stuff. A little kid, a uh, teenager, around that age. And this one went about when he was growing up. And, um, um, but it's still, it's still a, a, dad, a dad story. You know, this one. He come back from war, and his grandpa uh, tried to get him to hound again, and he don't want him, but he ended up taking him, and uh, but it, it, it doesn't have that uh, feeling like the first one does, but it's still a good movie, and um, it said it's a continuation of the classic novel. But it doesn't, it doesn't have that, that, that feeling as the first one, you know, you know, it's still a sad story, but not as sad as the first one. And, like I said, it came out in 1994, and came out the year I was born, and, but it's an hour and 36 minutes. A, a, a very good running time, because you don't want it to be too long, too short, a good, good running time. And, um, and, and like I said, and all I'm gonna mention, a lot of people probably didn't know that, uh, the original 1974 Red River and Girl had a sequel. So, um, he came back from the war, his grandpa gave him two hounds, he refused to take, he refused to take him, but, and, uh, a uh, 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 little bit into the movie, he, he, he ended up taking the two hounds. Um, 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 so, the, I, I'm going to spoil the movie, because what happened in, um, what happened in the hound died, they, they're going to hunt, and then eventually die, a, tra a tragedy happened, and his grandpa died too, but the way they died and stuff, not as bad as the way the, uh, his dog died in the first movie, and they're not the same. They're they're not the same dog in the first one. Cause you know, in the first one they died, so they can't come back to the second one. So it's not as, not as bad as the the first movie. It's so sad. It's so sad when the dog died, and Grandpa died in the movie. That's a spoiler alert. But it's still good. 
But I can't deny it good that in the first one. But it's still a good bad movie. And it's, it's a good sequel. But I can't say that it doesn't have the uh the original character in it. And not good. I'm gonna give it a B plus. And if you're a fan of the original nineteen seventy four, um, Red Red from Gravity, I recommend watching it. But not good, cause you didn't have the original uh um Billy Coleman and all the all the the actors that were in the first one. If if they came back to the sequel, then they might be good. So I give it a B plus. And I also want to say that it's way better than the, uh, the remake, two thousand three. Okay. And uh, so um, I give this a B plus. Um, there, there's some scene in the movie that should not be in the movie, but um, um, when you watch the movie, you're like, what? Like it takes you a little bit, a little bit of time to um. Cause you that movie, you like the first one was a heartwarming, tear jerky movie. And this one, you had to get used to it a little bit. You had to get used to him uh, with the dog, and then his dad and his grandpa uh, going some of his adventure with the dog, stuff like that. And when he when his grandpa died and his, his uh, dog died, not as bad when his dog died in the first one. But still a good movie. So overall, I give that a B. Plus, and I recommend watching it if you're a fan of the 1974 Red Ribbon Road, the original one. And but it's way better than the 2003 remake. And thank you for watching. And I give it a B plus. And thank you for watching my Red Ribbon Road 2 Classic Continuum movie review. Thank you.